Hello friends! I'm making this video today because I want to talk to you about the art project that I did over the summer called 101 Vibes, A Study in Vibes. Um, I was inspired to do it at a regional Burning Man event that I went to with my partner in the late spring of 2022. We went to Interfuse here in Missouri that's put on by the Midwest Burners and it had been several years since we had been to an event and it was a lot of fun. It was great to catch up with people. Ugh, people I hadn't seen in years. It was wonderful. Um, so the weather was going to get bad on Saturday and a lot of people were planning on leaving either Friday night or Saturday during the day. And so Friday night really kind of felt like the big party night. And after the burning of the temple, we went back to camp and we're hanging out and then we got ready to leave and as we were leaving my partner was walking and he was pulling me in my couch wagon uh, which is quite a delight I, I love being pulled around in that thing and um, a young woman in her 20s walks by and she stops and she's just like oh, you guys are a whole vibe like a total vibe and I was like oh Thank you so much. Yes, yes, we are. <laughs> With us, it, it was the first time I think anyone's ever called me a vibe. Um, and I was like, you know, that's really getting, I, I've been seeing it everywhere recently. I feel like it's definitely become part of the lexicon now. And I wanted to explore that. I a little bit became obsessed with the word and decided that I needed to just let my mind wander and see where it went down the vibe path. And, oh, I also gave away all of my back stock of hats on Saturday morning at interviews. And let me tell you how much fun that was to give away, like, 100 hats that I had made over the past three years <laughs> to people with cold heads. I had, ugh, it was a brilliant time. But anyway, so I got home, and I was inspired by these vibes, and I didn't have any hats made. And I was like, you know, I think I could do ear warmers. So let me just, like make a couple of ear warmers and I did I made the I like made my list of all the vibes that I thought I might want to do and I picked one out and I made it and then I made another one and then I made another one and then I made another one and then I was like you know I could probably like do like a hundred of these and like that counts as a project right like I could just be like that's what I did for my summer and so I just kept going and over the past, for 101 days, I averaged one vibe ear warmer per day. Um, and it was a whole lot of fun and I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. All right, here we go. So number one, we have, this is a vibe in green and plum. Love it. Number one, we have... I'm a vibe in cranberry and peach. We've got a whole vibe in purple and neon green. A whole vibe. Suck my vibe in black and pink because why not? Such a vibe in red and black. Such a vibe. I know, right? Ooh, I like this one. This is the only one I did like this one. It says vibe with me. And it's the only one that's two-toned like this. With the, the ribbings being a different color than the main body. Love it. Oh, Faux Grand Vibes. I did this one on the last day of Faux Grand being open in St. Louis. They are my, they were my number one favorite restaurant. Um, had the literal best spring rolls you could ever eat in your entire life. I highly miss them. I love that the, the owners got to retire, though. That makes me so happy. Love your vibe. Yes, this one is like a teal a neon green. I do. I love your vibe. You are a total vibe. 
<laughs> a total vibe. And then we've got life is a vibe. Life is a vibe. Because let's be honest, it is. That was the first 10. <laughs> and we've got just my vibe in a forest and neon green. We have <sighs> magic vibes. I honestly do not enjoy this dark brown mohair one, but I needed to, I wanted to make it into something and it wanted to be magic vibes. So whoever's vibe this is, please let me know. Looking for homes for vibes. <laughs> Dream vibes. Oh, I love these colors together. This lavender and this dark gray, charcoal gray. Oh, definitely dream vibes. And then we have all the vibes. Because, of course, we do. All the vibes. Crafty vibes. Because, of course, we are. We are all crafty. I believe everyone's crafty. They just don't believe in themselves. Oh, and then summer vibes. This one was so much fun to design. Summer vibes. I wanted to make it look like a field of flowers back here. And I think I did a really good job. Reminds me of summer. You can wear it in the winter and think about summer vibes. Oh, and then dopamine vibes. This one reminds me of my new friend Alex from... That I met at interviews and her hair. She got them dopamine vibes. And then dad vibes. This of course was knitted on Father's Day in June. I was thinking about my dad who died last year. Was it last year? 2021? Yeah. So we got the dad vibes. And then so many vibes because of course there are look at all these vibes this is just vibey yarn <laughs> so tell me what's a vibe <laughs> this is the first one I did that had a, a question mark on it it was a question what's a vibe what is a vibe do you know Apparently, the word vibe has been around for a long time and is short for vibraphone, according to an internet article I read. I don't know if that's true. <sighs> solstice vibes. This one was done on the summer solstice, of course. Solstice vibes. The longest day of the year. Hmm. Vibe 22. Because it's the 22nd vibe. Kind of like a catch 22, but it's a vibe 22. See what I'm saying? You like you picking up what I'm putting down? <laughs> vibey vibes. This one is too camouflaged. The vibey vibes blend in too much. If I were to redo one, I would probably need to redo this one first. That's the one I would pick. <gasps> Gateway vibes. I knitted this one on the hottest day of the year outside sitting at sunsets cafe and around the effigy at gateway it was a lot of fun i was very satisfied by it <laughs> satisfied oh right and then roe versus wade was overturned and i had to do abortion vibes Done in green because those are the colors now from Central and South America for the fight for abortion, which everyone should be able to have access to. And we've got queer vibes to celebrate um, LGBTQ plus Pride Month in June. Queer vibes. All of my friends are gay and I love them. They're wonderful. We have... Roe versus Wade vibes, of course. Had to do that one. And then 
we've got bi vibes because everyone I love in my life seems to be bi these days. <laughs> and I love you. Never stop being you. Uh, and then we have the very first one I believe that I have done a spelling error on, which was bound to happen because I am who I am as a person. We have snarky vibes with an extra E. And that's all right. They're snarky like that. They're like, we don't care. We're just going to have an extra E and you just have to deal with it. <laughs> because you know what? We're sassy vibes. We got sassy vibes all up in here. Yes, we do. Oh, gosh. Do you even vibe? Like, for real. Do you even vibe? <laughs> mm. Oh, that's right, yeah. Fuck your vibe. I had to do this one. Of course I did. I created a fuck ear warmer. That was the whole reason I did ear warmers in the first place was to put fuck on them. So we had to fuck your vibe in some way. Oh yeah, and then we come to the 4th of July and our war zone vibes. Because that's what my neighborhood sounds like and feels like. Except it's not an actual literal war zone and I'm so incredibly grateful for that and I hope that I never ever 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 have to live in a real war zone because fuck that noise. Oh. And then we have Sour Vibes. This one makes me think of my friend Sour Patch. I'm so grateful he came to Gateway. Made my burn. I'm going to be honest. Oh, yeah. But you know what? Not my vibe. These color combo together? Mm -mm. Not my vibe. But maybe somebody else's. I don't know. Just because it's not mine doesn't mean it's not yours. And then my bestie came into town, and we have bestie vibes. Yes. Good to have besties, y'all. People you can share things with. And then we have intentional vibes. Starting to get serious up in here. Intentional vibes. <laughs> and then because I was feeling it. Middle kid vibes. I am a middle kid. We're few and far between these days. I think that's a sad thing. Middle kids are great. Uh, and then we've got Creek Day vibes. Although I'm all for not, like, you know, overpopulating the planet. So the fact that there aren't more middle kids is probably fine. <laughs> but anyway, Creek Day vibes. Because I went to the creek with my bestie. And we had a good time. It was great. And we've got Set the Vibe. This was the first one that I had to redo because I did it with a yarn that I just ended up hating. So I redid it and I love it. Set the Vibe. Because you can. And you should. And then we have the 42nd Vibe. Because 42 is a very important number, as we all know. And then we had a full moon, and it was a thunder moon vibe. And I loved it. I love the little moons. <laughs> thunder moon vibe. Oh, yes. And then we got into some grouchy vibes. Because, you know, we're not all sunshine all the time. Sometimes we be grouchy and sour. And that's okay. And then sometimes we have to put on some faux vibes. Faux vibes. I don't even know why I did that one. I just like it. And then we've got, oh, this one's good. Subtle vibes. Because, you know, vibes don't have to be all up in your face. They can be real subtle and quiet and gentle. And then we've got... Heat wave vibes. Heat wave vibes. Which does look a lot like the vibe with me one that I did, except this one is three colors instead of just two. 
heat wave vibes. Because let me tell you, it was freaking hot this summer. And I'm like, why am I knitting? This is dumb. But I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop. And then we did plant parent vibes. I, uh, I became a plant parent this year. My dog died last year, the same year my dad died. It was, it was a big year last year. And uh, I had to pour my love into something because my cat and my partner just aren't enough, apparently. <laughs> so I became a plant parent. And let me tell you, it's been a lot of fun learning how to grow plants and not kill them. I, I, I'm not doing a terrible job, but when I do, I get grumpy. And I got grumpy vibes. Yup, grumpy vibes. Sometimes. <clears throat> you should just go get a vibe. Get a vibe. <laughs> oh man, it's never ending. I think we're about halfway through now. All right, wonderful. This one is kind of a vibe. It's kind of a vibe, those colors together. Oh, and then we've got 8 billion vibes, which is the number of people that are supposedly going to be on the planet by the end of next month. This also is the only one that is the same color as, a num as another one. It's the same colors as all the vibes, which I did not realize until I was actually putting all of this together. Um, and I think I find, I find that fitting that they're the same color because 8 billion vibes are all the vibes because people are, each person is their own vibe, right? Yeah, I think so. And then we've got my usual vibe. My usual vibe. <laughs> and then we can catch a vibe. Catch a vibe. And then we caught a vibe. These are the only two that I did that are matching on purpose. There's probably other ones that match and I just don't realize it. Like the Creek Day vibes and Gateway vibes are very similar because I use the same background yarn. Oh, and then we've got beautiful vibes. And this is made with silk and a little bit of acrylic. Um, but this background is silk yarn, and I love it. It's beautiful. It's so sparkly. So sparkly. Beautiful vibes. And then I, right after that, I'm not a vibe. Don't call me these things. I am not what you say I am. <laughs> but then we have rainbow vibes. Oh love the color on this one. I don't think this yarn, this rainbow yarn exists anymore. And I'm sad about it. I should have bought more when it was around, but I could say that about a lot of things. Sometimes I just got them salty vibes, you know? Salty vibes. And yes, I made it pink and white on purpose because those are the colors of the salt I have in my house. I think about these things, y'all. Sometimes, though, you just got to have these sarcastic vibes, which not everyone enjoys. <laughs> sarcastic vibes. Oh, my gosh. We're coming around the corner here. Oh, oh yeah. Love this one. Killjoy vibes. I mean... I love me some Killjoy vibes. It just depends on what they're killing. Whose vibes are you killing? Do we need to be killing those vibes? Probably. Tell me. How's my vibe? How is my vibe? How's my vibe? I hope it's good. <laughs> and if not, well, whatever vibes. Whatever vibes with you. Whatever vibes. Don't forget, trust your vibe. Trust your vibe. You should trust your own vibe. Like, for real. Mm. This is my all-time favorite vibes. Beach vibes, y'all. I should have put a y'all on there. Beach vibes. The best vibes in the world. Like, you can't, you'll never find any better vibes than beach vibes. In my opinion. You might disagree. 
but you can free your vibe. Just free your vibe. Free your vibe. <laughs> ah, yes, and then we have forest vibes. Mm-hmm. Also some favorite vibes. I love the outdoor vibes. They give me fairy vibes. I dyed this blue yarn myself, by the way, uh, with hair dye. <laughs> it's a wool. A wool yarn. Love it. Ah, yes, and then we got to 69 vibes. Rather proud of that one. like it a lot. Very colorful. And then we came to the anniversary of my dog's death, and I did doggo vibes. I dyed this yarn, too with pokeberry from my backyard and unfortunately it boiled and it turned into this beautiful tan color instead of the vibrant pink that it was supposed to be but I'm gonna try again this year but doggo vibes because these are my dog Vinny's colors mm, I miss that boy he was a good boy I mean he was terribly annoying and whiny and ran away from me at every opportunity but damn if I didn't love that dog and then we've got Fiery vibes. I had to remake this one because the first one I did looked like candy corn. And no, I haven't done candy corn vibes yet, but I want to. We got them fiery vibes. Oh my god, this one I love. I love this one so much. We've got 80s colored nostalgic vibes, y'all. Ah, oh, yes. Nostalgic vibes. If nobody wants that one, I'm going to wear it myself all the time. Maybe I'll just make it myself again. Who knows? Historical vibes. Oh, this one was knitted on the day of the raid at Mar-a-Lago because let's be honest, that's pretty fucking historical. Raise your hand if you're tired of living through historical events. That would be me. Hi, my name is Jenna and I hate living through historical events. Can we just have something boring happen for once? Because damn it, just trying to vibe. I am just trying to vibe all we're doing guys we're just trying to vibe so you should vibe like you mean it vibe like you mean it I think this is the longest one I made oh wait no there's one more that's longer around like the words the words being the longest around mmm work your vibe went on a big work trip with my partner we did a lot of work and this was the only thing that I did on this project while we were doing that work trip was work your vibe felt appropriate is this a vibe i don't know you tell me is this a vibe question mark oh yes make me vibe i'm not really sure what that means make me vibe Maybe we can find out. This is the longest one I did. Avocado toast vibes. Because I am a millennial. And avocado toast vibes are apparently millennial vibes. From what I hear on the internet. <laughs> Own your vibe. Own your vibe. Just own it. It's yours. It's nobody else's. Only you can have it. Mmm. We have enchanting vibes. Yes. Enchanting vibes. I was thinking about plants and the forests and beautiful places. Create your vibe. Like, just do it. Just create your vibe. Create your vibe. Because what's your vibe? What's your vibe? Tell me. What's your vibe? Remember, temporary vibes. Really, all vibes are temporary. Temporary vibes. 
Thus is the nature of vibes, right? Because they're just vibrations, I suppose. Feels. Control your vibe. Like, just take that bitch by the reins. Make her yours. Control your vibe. Please, so that other people don't have to. We all got work to do, right? We ain't got time to worry about other people's vibes. Am I your vibe? Like, I know, right? Am I your vibe? Am I? Am I your vibe? <sighs> Who knows? Oh, yeah. Vibes of solitude. It's feeling the need to be alone <laughs> and have some vibes of solitude. Tell me. Got vibes? I bet you do. I bet you got vibes. Don't sue me, milk industry. <sighs> and then we had a new moon, and I did new moon vibes. And I love it. It's so sparkly and beautiful. She's great. And then, as vibes are temporary, you should release your vibe. Release your vibe. Just release your vibe. I think this is when I started doing the better R. This whole thing was a lot of fun. I learned a lot about letters and knitting and my own ability to work for myself. <laughs> and then I did redundant vibes. And I did it in gray and purple because I'm pretty sure those are the colors I've used the most in this thing. Redundant vibes. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love this one. This one took me like three times to make. Rainy day vibes. Because, of course, I had to knit it on a day that it was actually rainy. Because otherwise it wouldn't be the right vibe. Rainy day vibes. And this is to celebrate rainbows. Ugh, oh, love it. And then we have... This is probably the hardest one to read besides vibey vibes. Vibes of chaos. Vibes of chaos. <laughs> and I made it as chaotic as possible. Because, you know, that's how we roll. And then we have hopeful vibes. Which is also knitted with a wool yarn that I dyed with hair dye. Hopeful vibes. We all gotta have some hope, right? Just like we have happy vibes. You can have happy vibes. It's okay. It's okay to be happy. Have happy vibes. Hopeful vibes, happy vibes. Check your vibe. Like, especially before leaving the house. Like, you're looking in the mirror. Check your vibe. How's your vibe? Are you feeling okay? Are you a little hangry? Are you gonna make other people's vibes worse if you go out vibing into the world all mad and hangry? I don't know. Be careful. And then we have birthday vibes. It was my older sister Anna's birthday. So I knitted some birthday vibes. And then we have vibes of harmony. Vibes of harmony. And we're getting close to the end here. I think there's three more. So this must be 99, which is an absolute vibe like just an absolute vibe absolute vibe and then we have vibe 100 which i have been wanting to do color vibes so i did purple vibes because purple is my favorite color and then we have dun 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 dun, dun vibe 101 the last vibe in the series. And there we have it. All right. Well, this has been long. Thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed learning about a little bit about my vibes. And, uh, yeah. Um, I love you guys. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.